Welcome back to my channel. This is Mac and today we are working on the Camaro, but nothing new. If you've been for a while now, you may have noticed that I have two sets of headlights. Okay, um, I got the new ones I just put on there. They are the LED RGB headlights. Very similar to my other headlights that were put on first. Um, these ones are still on here right now with the RGB. I don't know if you guys hear that thing. That thing's crazy. I'm gonna go shut that thing up. So today I'm going to do a little review on the two. So there's these right here that are currently on it right now. You have an idea of these lights so i think these lights are great it goes really well with the underglow i have on the car i think in a car show and all that stuff and my car's not really car show worthy but functionality wise works great headlights work excellent uh, i would say they are about the same on when you're driving the car and the headlights on the road and everything. I didn't notice any difference between the two. So those are some key things right there. So the headlights are roughly the same. Um, the one thing that you do not get with these headlights right here. So in order to get these to turn on with the marker lights, um, I have to turn the system on and then in the app, I can change the color to whatever color I want. Well, with the headlights and the high beams are all about the same. With my other headlights, the other set, I get the same quality brightness, I get the same quality of the high beams. But these ones um, with the RGB, we'll just call the difference between the RGB and the non-RGB. The RGB ones don't have the blinker function built into them. Now, that doesn't mean that I couldn't figure out how to hook it up to where it'll turn on um, to a blinker. But out of the box, um, my other ones do that. There's a, there's a connection for it. So if I had a uh, feedback for the, the manufacturer of these, it'd be nice to have the blinker input built into these to where um, the outer ring would actually blink on the headlight. I kind of like that. I see the new cars do this um compared to you know this being an old car this be like a new functionality so i think that'd be kind of cool uh to see that on the rgb headlight so that, that's one piece that's missing is the the blinker indicator also i have these ones don't really i can't really turn them on with my uh marker lights with my other ones i have a setup to do that so when i turn my marker lights on um, the non-rgb ones those rings will actually turn on, okay? So they're, that's actually a really nice feature, in my opinion, where I can just quickly turn them on and off. Um, when with the RGB ones, I have to have like a toggle switch. So what does all this mean? I'm gonna go ahead and I think daily, I'm gonna keep the other headlights on. I am going to switch out the RGB ones with the, the non-RGB non ones and use those as a daily um, a daily headlight. And then I don't know what I'm gonna be doing with these ones. Might be giving them away as a, uh, as a giveaway. It'd be cool if I, I don't know, let's just set out a number. Um, if I got 2000 subscribers and 2000 views on this video, um, I will consider doing a giveaway on these headlights. So, um, I think that would be reasonable. I mean, they were pretty expensive. I remember everything I pay for, um, I buy for this cars comes from me. So anyway, so I think what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and get these things installed and I'll show you the comparisons, um, the difference between the lights and everything. All right, but I 
Uh, what are some other uh, pros and cons? Um, the pros on the RGB headlights, they're very, very easy to install. I really like the quick connectors for it. Um, that's one of the biggest things um, I like about the car with the RGB headlights is that functionality where it's easy to install. With the other headlights, I did have to set up some resistors for the blinking function. So the install process was a lot more involved to make sure I got all functionality out of it. So if you didn't want to do any wiring or anything, these headlights are pretty nice, they're plug and play. But I wanted to use the full functionality of the non-RGB headlights, so I spent a little more time on it and I did the full install, okay? So, uh, so the connectors are a big one. On the other headlight, um, if they would improve these connectors a little bit, these connectors right here, I think that would uh, make things a lot better. So this little spade and this connector right here, um, I really don't like these, these type of connectors. They have like the little twist on cap, well, push in ones, that'd be pretty cool. Um, and again, we don't have a lot of wire to work with here. So it's not like I can, you know, I can switch out the ends on these, but you get my drift. There's not a lot of wire, not a lot of real estate there. So conclusion, I really like both sets of headlights. Both sets of headlights are big improvements to light compared to, you know, these. Even though these are performance ones, I did put new um, new ones of these on there, but uh, didn't didn't see the performance I wanted out of driving at night. Now, the older I get, the crappier I see, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and switch these back, and shall we just take a minute? I'd like to hear you guys' thoughts on this. Which headlight would you put on your car? Would you stick with the standard or would you do RGB? Everything is very nicely made on these headlights. I really do like them. Uh, in the comments, I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. Until next time, guys, thank you. Have a good one.